Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of financing and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we are proud to offer our award to Unifin Mexico, made to measure financial solutions. For over 20 years, Unifin has supported customers by offering the highest quality financial services. Based in Mexico City, Unifin has offices in all of Mexico's major cities. Unifin offers a full leasing service so that customers can use important or large purchases immediately with a minimum down payment. Unifin has been awarded Best Leasing Company in Mexico 2016 by Global Banking and Finance. Rodrigo Lebois, the founder and president of the company, came to our London Stock Exchange Studios to receive the award from Global Banking and Finance's Lynn Quornby. After the presentation, we spoke to Mr. Lebois about the history and success story that is Unifin. Rodrigo Lebois, welcome to London and indeed congratulations on winning the award with Global Banking and Finance Review. Well, we are very proud. Uh, all the people that work in Unifin have made an, an enormous effort all over these years to get some kind of awards. And yes, we are very proud and we thank you very much. Well, you've been established as an organization for at least 20 years. What will you say uh, about the history of Unifin and, and how it came to be? Well, the history of Unifin is, it's, it's, uh, is a really interesting story. We st I started the company in 1993 went almost bankrupt in 1995 when we had the tequila crisis in Mexico. Interest rates went from 8% to 120% in one month. Uh, exchange rate went from 3 pesos to 8 pesos. No funding, so we had to struggle a lot in order to, to keep our, our company afloat. That was seven years of hard work. And then we came back to business uh, in 2000, 2001. In the, in the steady growth we've been maintaining for the last 15 years. Well, obviously it's a, an excellent success story. Uh, tell me what distinguishes Unifin apart from your competitors, would you say? Well, what is very interesting to know is that in Mexico, banks are not really involved in the leasing business. Um, mainly because, uh, as you know, Mexico is a very, very, very low, has a very low standard in bancarization compared to other, to other countries. So. Right now what banks are trying to do is get uh, more penetration in their normal uh, core business like uh, mortgages, car finance and whatever. So uh, that's why I guess they're not right now in the leasing business very active. We think and we hope they are in the, in the near future. But then at the end that's why uh, even though competitors are there, uh, Unifin, Unifin is, has been able to to have a growth like the one it has been having the last years. What would you say are the, 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 the opportunities and indeed challenges uh, of uh, actually leasing in Mexico? Well, uh, medium-sized companies, that is our main sector, have been struggling through the decades in order to obtain finance. Uh, whenever they had it, like in 1976, 1981, 1987, Normally, all, all these medium-sized companies lost their assets, so they're very, very, very careful when they they, they finance their, their 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 equipments. The good thing about us is that we provide a long-term solution with a fixed monthly payment in pesos, which, of course, they are, have the the security that what they're gonna pay is not gonna happen when they finance their their in dollars at one time and they had an a devaluation. Not a problem that interest rate would go from 8% to 150%. So uh, those are very big op opportunities. Uh, the leasing business in Mexico compared to other countries in Latin America, it has a very, very low penetration. Uh, leasing should have the ability to grow at least 10 times in Mexico in the next five years. Why do you think that is, that leasing is not, not, not such a popular opportunity in Mexico compared with elsewhere? Because it's very hard to start up a leasing company, it's very capital intensive, and uh, to get the finance is very, very hard. So I guess the barriers of entry 
are so high that people would like to go in, in another easier banking uh, system strategy or banking business. So uh, why, would, um, why would you advise uh, customers or businesses to, to take a leasing uh, um, opportunity? Well, besides, besides the, the, the tax advantage of deducting the payments, of course, getting the ability to finance your assets in the long term with a fixed rent, of course, is very, very appealing to medium-sized companies. And you did mention there about financing. How difficult is it to get financing as far as you're concerned? It, it is not easy. Every, 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 every time is easier. Uh, as I told you before, the bancarization uh, is really, really low in Mexico still. Uh, there are lots, still a lot of informal informality in the economy. In the, in the, in the economy. So it's getting better and better. Uh, but yes, you have to struggle in order to get uh, some finance. Uh, but it should become an easier, a, 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 a easier way to get it in the near future. And once you've overcome those, those challenges, uh, what are the advantages of leasing, would you say? I know you touched upon it. Perhaps you could expand on that. Yes, uh, deduction is, is, is definitely a, a, a good point, but I think that mainly the medium-sized business that takes leasing does not do it because of the tax advantages. They do it as a way to own their asset, even though it's a leasing with an option at the end. Uh, it's a way to own their assets in the long term with fixed payments and the certainty that would, they would be able, of course, to own their asset at the end of the period. Now, you presumably have leasing agents. How do you ensure that they give your customers uh, and, and business individuals the best service? Uh, normally, what we do in, in, in Unifin, we don't do any vendor programs. We don't do any outside agents. All the marketing in Unifin is done in-house. Uh, we That is the only way we can provide our customer the best quality of service and ensure that it will be in the best qualities in after after the, the the operation is done and taking care of them in the good times and in the bad times of mm. course mm -hmm. and, and and do the bad times uh, which happens everywhere in the world financially does that affect leasing services at all yes that affects all all, all, all banking companies would be affected but uh, uh, as i tell my people the first ones the first ones that get there are the first ones that are going to collect so we, we are the first one to help our clients when they have struggles. We are very friendly, we have a big communication. It's not a matter, it's not just a client uh, provider, it's more like a partnership for the long term in, in, with the financial services. Well, you've, you've outlined excellently uh, some of the services you provide there within leasing. What are your plans for the future? Expansion? Anything different? Well, yes, as I told you before, uh, the leasing business is very, uh, very underpenetrated in Mexico, so we plan to continue in the lines of business that we are, that is uh, car financing, factoring and leasing. We, we, we plan to keep on expanding in Mexico City we, and in Mexico, all the regions. We have now 19 branches all over Mexico. We are going to plan to keep on expanding our presence in the, Mex in the Mexican country. We don't see plans in the near future to, through expanding the, the lines of services that we give and not even going outside of Mexico for the, for the moment. So you look very much within your own country as an operation? It is, yeah. definitely. We know it very well and we know the struggles and we know the opportunities that we have in the country. Well, I hope there'll be more opportunities in the future. Congratulations again on the award. And thank Rodrigo, you. thank you so much for coming to London and talking to us today. A pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.